Hello guys, welcome back to the Fat Cat Caravan. I hope you're doing well today. Um, now, I've worked out, I'm pretty much working out this game as I go along. So what this is gonna be, I thought, do you know what, to help others as well, who are obviously struggling with this game, including myself, I was, um, I've kind of worked, when I work out bits and pieces, I'm gonna do tutorials on it kind of thing. So um, yeah, this would be basically the disabled ramp tutorial. This one is the nightmare. This is the one where, you literally can't close the doors and you're like why why can't i close the doors it's very simple and it it took me a while to work out but anyway let's um just do a new game and i'll show you what it's all about shall i right so here we are in timetable so we're just going to go ahead and now our first stop is 614 all right the total route is uh, ends at 658 but what we're going to do is we're going to yeah we want to do this route that's fine now the current time is six o'clock so what we want to do now just bump that up 10 minutes forward there we go I mean, you don't have to but otherwise if you're running this route then um you're going to be too early every time i think so pretty much so yeah we'll bump it 10 minutes forward and then we are gonna start on our way oh before we do actually sorry before we do first thing you want to do is press up on the d-pad right and you want to go into your right here we are Disabled stop request one. Now this means obviously the front of the, the tram or the back of the tram. So you've got one and two, you've got two points when they can technically get on. Now obviously you don't want to be doing the one at the end because it's just it means you've got to get up and anyway. So we're going to make sure this is turned on. We're going to turn on this one, which is the one ramped down right by our feet here. So we're going to make sure that's on. Right there you go. When you hear that, it's 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 on, right? Right, let's proceed. So that means that passengers can, uh, disabled passengers can let you know when they want to get off, basically. So let's get to our first stop. Now, there usually is a guy here. There probably won't be now doing this tutorial, but there's usually a guy here in a wheelchair. Our first stop. Yeah, cool. Perfect. <laughs> if it wasn't, I'd have to do a new bloody game, would I? Right. Okay. Right, let's get this door's unlocked. Right, cool. Now they're going to close automatically because they are um, uh, computer controlled. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to lock those back again now so that people can't press the buttons while I'm trying to do this, sort out this dude, all right? So what we're going to do now, rather than open this door, if we just click on the ramp through the glass, because you can do that because it's just, that's how the game is. <laughs> we'll let the keys run. No problem. And then we're going to close it back up again. Right. Cool. Right. So now that guy's on, he's loaded. We're going to try and close the doors. So let me just show you what happened. There we go. Now, remember, if you guys, if you watch my stream, this happens on my stream. And we're like, what the hell? We've just can't. We've done everything we could. We just couldn't close the doors. Uh, so what it is, is on this little screen here, You've basically got to, you've got to clear it. You've got to say, okay, the person's on, we can proceed. So if you just, all it is, just click that. All it is, that little disabled icon. Click that, and now we're called to close the doors. Look, <laughs> that's literally all it was, and that's it. And away we go. That's all you got to do. And the same in reverse. So what happens is, so now if you look down here, that light has come on. That means someone wants to get off at the next stop. Right, there's stop requests basically. There you go. And he wants to get off now, the disabled guy, because that's lit up now. So he wants to get off. So all it is is interact with his screen. That's literally all it is. That's all the mistake. That's catching me out. It's catching a lot of people out. I've watched them. Um, CGD as well. It's catching him out. Like, so yeah, I want to. I want to do these. As, I wanted to do, do these tutorials as soon as I work this stuff out. I want to do it for you guys to help out. You know, the community. I want to play this game. So um, I don't want anyone kind of struggling with it. Know because, uh, like, <laughs> just like I was, it's uh, ridiculous. But um, if you look at our timetable now, that minus three there means we're three minutes early currently, right? Because the next stop we've got to be there at was it seven, sixteen, I think, or something, eighteen, I think it is, yeah. Anyway, so yeah, we're three minutes early currently. So if you're wondering what that minus three means, that's what it is. So we can talk. now based on that if you keep your eye on this see now we're two and a half minutes early right you can kind of know what speed to go 
you can literally just, just sort of cruise it. And now I know, obviously, learning the line is a big part of this. So I know there's a um, a traffic light here, and there's a one after that. You know, you just get to know where these places are. So anyway, I won't, I won't be doing the full route. It's just a, a passenger ramp tutorial. So now we can see here that that one there is telling us there's a blocked signal straight ahead. Let's just pull it up here. Beautiful. Right, unlock the doors. Let them all on. Old Ed Miliband clones. <coughs> okay. Because the passengers activate those doors, they'll, they'll close automatically. That's fine. Until we lock it, until we can't do that, yeah? So what we can do, we can do that. Because we don't want more interruptions. Uh, okay, one second. <laughs> I think someone wants to get on. Anyway, right. So what we do now? Pull down the ramp. Now, now a lot of, in most cases, right? Uh, we we will know. We know he wants to get off because the uh, the icons lit up. All right. Okay. So let's lock those doors again. Right. So what we can do is open up the ramp. Now, this is. I think this is a bug. Oh, well, I'm pretty sure it's a bug because as soon as you go to open it, he kind of drives out without. He, does, he doesn't wait for the ramp to fully extend. And now I think this is a bug. So we're going to open it. He's going to drive. There you go. He can drive like. <laughs> that's not supposed to happen. Obviously, the ramp's supposed to extend fully. Uh, I'm pretty sure that's a bug. Wait, it is a bug. That is a bug. So we have to close it back up again. Now he's off. We can't close the doors because we haven't cleared. We haven't told the the tram. Yes, okay, he's off. Let's clear the disabled icon. There we go. And now we can proceed. It's as easy as that. And obviously, the the simplest things will catch you out the most times. But yeah, cool. That's um. That's a tutorial for this ramp. Uh, so yeah, I hope this has helped you out completely. And um, I'll do. I'll move on to the other tutorial for the um, the other uh, tr tram. I don't know which the blue one, the Munich one. I don't know which. Um, I think it's R2. Is it uh, R2D2? So yeah, I'll do that tutorial next for you. Okay, guys. So this is the second tutorial for the what is this? The R2 um, tram the Munich one, uh, for the disabled ramps. So uh, let's get going to the first stop. And I hope there's a disabled passenger there for us. Right, let's lock the doors. Right, that's locked. Perfect. But now we want to reopen the front door, right? Because we want to let this guy on. So, right. So in order for this to work, right, the stop brake must be on. The drive in position key must be in position one. So, uh, where is it? The, here we go. Driver cab key must be in position one, which it is. It always will be. Anyway, that's fine. And then what we want to do is put the stop brake on, right? So turn that on. Now, as you've just seen, it's right here. All right, so let's just do that again. That's where the stop brake is on the, um, the UI. So if you notice, that light down there is, is off, right? And then we turn the stop brake on. It lights up. That means now the ramp is ready to use. So all we do now is a case of lower, lower, and then raise, raise. So hold that button down to extend it. And once it's fully extended, the flap will come up like that and then what we're going to do then, again just press it again to lower it and the flap goes down he will drive on and wait for you to lift him up oh, he's almost on anyway <laughs> so yeah we lift him up with the raise button so hold that down there we go he's on and then press it again so it's lower lower raise raise alright so press raise again hold the button down again just keep holding the button And yeah, in we go. Now we may proceed. Shut the doors and proceed. Turn the stop brake off, remember? Otherwise you're not going nowhere. And then that's it. Literally. And off the way you go. And all you do is just do that in reverse when you want to when the guy wants to get off. That is it pretty much for this RAM tutorial. Alright guys, so um yeah. 
I um, hope it's been useful. Like I say, super quick video just to do these ramps because these ramps are kind of like <laughs> the bane of my life. I'm now I've worked them out. I'm like, I've got to share this you know, kind of knowledge. So uh, people might know this already, but you know, I'm just putting it out there anyway. All right, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. Take care. PlayStation.